Good evening. We are four days away from what seems to be one of the most tumultuous municipal elections in Toronto's history. First, there was the city battling uh, Doug Ford over the slashing of city council. And now uh, councillors are battling one another, including one tonight who's being called out for his seemingly racist comment. Consistently bullying uh, myself and then obviously supporters. So it's just kind of like no one agrees with him that, you know, he's always on the attack. So it's very interesting for him to come on my Facebook so early in the morning uh, and just kind of start ranting. This is the post Tiffany Ford, who is running for city councillor in Ward 7, is referencing. One of the dozens commenting is her Humber River Black Creek rival, Giorgio Mamaliti. It reads in part, most of your respondents need to wake up to what's happening to you. On one hand, you talk about white men being angry, and on the other, you just name call yourselves. Who is angry? At least I have a plan to take you out of segregation. A white man does. Your black candidates don't speak of how they will do that. That comment was left under Ford's photo post from yesterday, referencing a town hall debate where she asked the councillor to, quote, apologize for his cockroach statement about people living in social housing. She also goes on to say Anthony Peruzza, another incumbent councillor running in Ward 7, was, quote, just an angry guy the whole time. Some in the comments calling Mamaliti's Facebook comment racist and ignorant. The fact that he brought race uh, into it, like nobody was talking about race at all, and so it was very interesting for him to... Uh, sort of segregate himself uh, between between uh, me and him. Right now, he sees me as a, as a threat. He hasn't uh, said much to any other competitors, so it's very interesting that he consistently decides to pick on me. How do you respond to people saying that your post is racist? And you've mentioned a lot of racist things. I've read it over and over again. It's mm -hmm. not racist at all. Mm -hmm. How does anyone get racism out of my post? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to stop the segregation of black people who are poor in the Jane and Finch corridor. She called uh, Anthony Peruzza an angry white guy, is what she said on Facebook. She then withdrew the word white. You mean like she edited the Facebook post? Yes. I looked at the history of that and at no point was that's did she not, mention that's race. Not, that's absolutely not true. Ford denies that she made reference to race at any point in this post. So Facebook actually has a feature that allows you to check the edit history of a post. So this is the post in question. All I have to do is click here. I go to view edit history and it appears that this is the only post here. And it doesn't appear that there were any edits made or a line that read, quote, angry white guy. This plays very much into his constituency. And whether or not this gets people going to the polls against him or whether or not people agree with him is, you know, really something that any other candidate might be worried about, but not this guy. Why is that? Well, because he's just known for seeing these sort of things and there's no consequence to what he says. Is there such thing as social media etiquette during an election? Well, one would argue that there's any social media etiquette at all in, in, uh, on social media. It, it, would, it would seem that for anybody who's involved in politics, if you're taking a side, there is no etiquette. I mean, you have people who will say outrageous things, including candidates on social media. And Ford says this isn't the first time Mamaliti has targeted her on social media. And I did ask Georgia Mamaliti if he makes a comment on any of the other candidates' uh, Facebook or social media posts, and he says he does.